Howdy, and welcome to the Texas Bucket List. My name is Shane McAuliffe, and rodeo season is right around the corner. It's the time of year you can find buck and bronx and barbecue cook-offs in every corner of the state. One of the first of the new year is the Fort Worth Stock Show and Rodeo, and this event has a long ride in history. Rodeo. It's part of who we are as Texans. The official sport of the Lone Star State. The very first rodeo was held in 1883 in Pecos. It's the one that started it all. But today, rodeo has really grown. The Fort Worth Stock Show and Rodeo is considered the granddaddy of all Texas rodeos, as it was first held in 1896, and it's been continuously running ever since. Rodeo's just got a special part. It's a special part of who we are and what we do. Matt Brockman has been a part of the Fort Worth Stock Show and Rodeo since 2008. You know, it's this cow town. Some say the city of cowboys and culture. Some say it's the modern West. Some say it's where the West begins. Now, Fort Worth might be famous for the stockyards, and yes, you can still see a herd of Longhorns make their way down East Exchange Avenue just about every day of the year. The reason the rodeo is here has everything to do with the history of the stockyards. The trail driving era had come to an end. The Fort Worth Stockyards, though, had been established and um, was a major location where cattle were driven to and sold, but there was no place to harvest them, to process them. They were loaded into rail cars and shipped off to Chicago in Kansas City. And the organizers of the stockyard said, we need to do something to attract uh, the attention of these meat packers in Chicago to, to, you know, to bring plants to Fort Worth. They went out on the banks of Marine Creek right next to the stockyards building and tethered a bunch of cattle out there for a day or two and had a competition and awarded some prizes, hoping that word would get to Chicago. And I guess it was a success. In 1903, Armor Company and Swift Company both established and built plants there right adjacent to the stockyards and we were off and running by that point. In 1908, the stock show moved to the newly constructed Northside Coliseum, and history was made. The original, world's original indoor rodeo oh, wow. in 1918, and we've been having professional rodeo ever since. Today, you'll find the Fort Worth Stock Show and Rodeo at the Will Rogers Memorial Center, where you can stroll Simmons Bank Plaza and get the perfect view of downtown Fort Worth. What city has got a public events place like this that they can Come year around and experience what makes Fort Worth so unique and special. The rodeo itself is held in Dickey's Arena, a 14,000 seat stadium that opened in 2019. It pays homage to the history of the stock show and rodeo by having the exact same attributes as the former arena. The footprint of that actual competitive arena is the same footprint that we had in the Will Rogers Coliseum. The bucking chutes are the same. It's the same diameter, e exact diameter, even down to the dirt. Uh, we got the dirt from the same place. So the dirt's just like it is in Will Rogers. The color schemes, the layout of the arena, the dimensions, it you know, fits Will Rogers Coliseum to the T. I mean, if you went to the old building, it was so historic and it was so special. And this, they've carried it over, the arena's the same, and man, I mean, if you want an extremely great fan experience, they have it. Matt Reeves is from Crossplates, and he's been rodeoing for 20 years. People talk about rodeo being a community and a family, but uh, rodeo gave me a family. The 2020 American Steer Wrestling Champion has had a lot of success over the years, especially in Fort Worth. Running steers for good money and having an opportunity to win at rodeos like this is always a rush. If this doesn't get you excited, you're gonna have to find something else to do. <laughs> I could not imagine doing anything else with my life right now. On the stock show side of things, you've got students like Emerson Dean from Decatur. I've been showing since I was in fourth grade, so about nine years. She is one of hundreds of 4-H and FFA members from 239 out of Texas's 254 counties that are represented at this stock show, all of them caring for their animals throughout the year in order to earn scholarships for school. I mean, this is my passion, so I find it more fun than stressful, but 
It is a lot of work. The youth component of what we do goes to the heart, I think, of what the stock show is all about. It's amazing to keep collecting the scholarships and knowing that, again, my hard work is being paid off and someone truly sees how passionate and how hardworking I am. We began holding youth competitions back in the 1920s. And what's so unique about the stock show and what I'm so proud about is these young men and women, a lot of them come from rural areas, but a lot of these young men and women come from the suburbs. I feel very blessed to be able to live this type of lifestyle. I don't really know what I would be doing or who I would be without this. So this place is a gateway. It's an incubator for these young men and women to get exposed to the livestock industry and the food industry and prepare themselves for a potential career. Knowing that I am a leader in the industry is just, it's amazing. And getting to teach other kids and hopefully help them find their passion in this industry, that's really eye-opening to me. Texans are known for their tough tenacity and the folks involved in farming, ranching, and rodeo always seem to have it. Seeing those skills being put to use in the arena makes coming to the Fort Worth Stock Show and Rodeo something worth saddling up for on the Texas bucket list. When they say this thing is legendary, it is. The stock show's great. They have the coolest steer show there is in the world, and this rodeo is phenomenal. Without agriculture, our world would not be what it is today, so I think that's the most important reason why people need to come visit here and overall just to have fun. This event is truly, I believe, woven deeply into the cultural and social fabric of Fort Worth. It's just what we do here.